Welcome to the Daily Challenge for September 27th, 2014. Let's begin.
Son of a bitch. Let's see what, what happened there. I thought I was... Oh, uh, yeah. Man, I hate it when that happens. Like, I know exactly how to fight them. I just thought I had moved, you know, at the right time and gotten it to, I can, to where I can get two hits off before it starts to move. But, uh... Nope. I mistimed that. You know, I almost think it was a mistake to get the Ring of Phasing. Because that... It makes it weird to move through stuff because you can't break blocks anymore like you normally do so when I tried to get the uh, the gold that was in the wall I couldn't without blowing it up with a bomb it's just I don't know it's kind of awkward it's pretty awkward I don't really feel like it gave me much of an advantage I mean I suppose you could use it to run away from stuff if it's really coming after you can just kind of you know hide in the wall I guess but I don't know it just feels awkward I don't think I'd get it if I had the option to option to again, even though it was extremely cheap. Yeah, and one of the things I tested with it that I wasn't sure about is, I wanted to know, could you attack enemies through the walls? Because I came to the one spot that had a bunch of bats inside of a hidden room, and they were so packed inside of there that I couldn't actually enter the room without getting hit. So I tried to attack one of them, by coming to the block right before one of the one of them and then just, you know, moving in their direction, but it turns out that does not work. I just lost my coin multiplier. Thankfully I didn't take any damage, I just lost my coin multiplier, but still. That is something that I did not know. <laughs> I also considered blowing up the shopkeeper because I saw in the patch notes for the recent patch that just popped up on the um It was on the twenty fifth of September, yeah, the twenty fifth of this month. This is when that patch came out, I think. Well, one of the things they added is that you can now try to blow up the shopkeeper. I almost tested that, but the thing is I tested it a little bit in hardcore mode. I kept trying to blow up the shopkeeper, and it turns out the shopkeeper is very strong. I kept dying to him. So, I figured that was probably a bad idea, even if I did have like five bombs at the time. And anyway, I'm not actually sure what you gain if you do blow him up. Like, do you just get all his items for free? Does he drop something? I'm assuming he drops money, I guess. It's a pretty safe bet. I don't know. But uh, the Golden Whip was an interesting item. I'm getting a little bit more familiar with it. With uh, the whip-type things. Where you have a very long horizontal strip in front of your character. That you can attack with. I'm definitely doing a lot better with it than I was before. Because I think in the past I've kind of pretty much used it as a dagger. Which is not really the way you want to use it. That's That's dumb. You should really try to take advantage of its range. It's just also a little bit awkward, but I'm definitely getting better with it. Alright, so that has been the daily challenge for the 27th of September, 2014. Let's see how we did. I actually forgot to check that. Probably not too well. Hello? Hello? Is my internet down? Previous day? Okay, previous day works. Today? Ah, there we go. Oh, wow, I'm number six. So, wait, what the hell? And now it just broke again. Well, anyway. That <laughs> one of <laughs> number four is the name for um, the person ranked number four is adult onset diabetes. Did you see that? Yep, that is some very skilled adult onset diabetes. Anyway, that's been the daily challenge for September twenty seventh, two thousand fourteen. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.